Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD here today on the channel. We have another online multiplayer 1v1. This time around between the Ottoman Empire versus Kiev. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. Feel free to join me on the Discord, linked in the description below. As well, over there, you can send me your online battle replays to feature on the channel. I'd really much appreciate it. This one's going to be a good one. Kiev vs. the Ottoman Empire. So let's set the scenario for this one. I guess Eastern Orthodoxy has fallen. The Byzantines, the Bulgarians, and now the might of the Ottoman Empire now sets its sights to the last bastion of orthodoxy in the north. The Grand Kaznan of Kiev stands alone. Okay, so army build wise, this is a pretty interesting comp. Uh, Ki <laughs> I was about to say Kislev. <laughs> the Kislevites. <laughs> Kiev, I've got Warhammer 3 on the brain. Kiev have a lot of cavalry and horse archers and they've also just brought a lot of standard archers as well the ottomans have brought a lot of spears and infantry you'd think the ottomans sort of the the turkic horse lords would bring a lot more of the cavalry to be honest but this time around it's the kiev player bringing cavalry supremacy uh, numerical advantages wise uh, kiev has 1200 soldiers but the ottomans have a whopping 2700 which is quite a bit kiev are currently outnumbered two to one however the advantage is only slightly in the balance of power in favor of the ottomans so without further ado let's speed things up and allow each player to make their opening moves so kiev is just trying to wrap around and envelop the Ot ottoman line that's sort of keeping a tight cohesion in the center there it's a nice, a nice flat desert map nice and dry in the, I don't know, what would it be, the, f the vast fields of the Ukraine maybe, or the, the Caucasus to some extent. Okay, so they're just trying to wrap around here. I'm sure there's going to be some skirmish fire released in a moment. So, the Ottoman player has identified the cavalry supremacy already by the by Kiev and they're gonna have to stay in a tight formation here so the Kiev horse archers are just putting down some suppressive fire on those spearmen there while the others try and wrap around and hit them from the sides in the rear where they're weakest the Ottomans do have their own cavalry but they're gonna have to use it wisely because they don't have too many of them okay so they're making sure to defend the rear guard of their infantry and they're also intertwining their very heavy spearmen as well okay so it looks like the ottomans kind of want to make a play and a push for this kiev cavalry as their heavy tr shock tries to phase it out they've only got some lighter units there and it looks like these horse archers are getting really quite close to this heavy infantry, just peppering them slightly. Oh, and there's been an engagement here. We've got some Ottoman and Kiev cavalry clashing. I believe it's the light Delhi units. And they are just getting rip-roared through with their fancy hat. They're even copying some uh, archer fire as well. And there's even more coming in to help. So fighting has broken out on the left wing as both Kiev and Ottoman cavalry clash in glorious battle. It looks like the light Delhi cavalry are going to capitulate and route first. And Kiev seems to have the advantage, although being numerically down as well, he's really got to be super careful with the lack of numbers he has in his army build. So he's really got to be meticulous, let's say, in his approach. He has to precisely target and engage each unit quite in um, in depth like you've got to you got to make sure if you're going to risk the soldiers you've got to make it count and already so he's managed to get rid of one cavalry unit there maybe even routing another but so far although he's outnumbered two to one kiev seems to be gaining momentum and the ascendancy in this match man it's going to be a good one super hard to call let me know in the comments who do you think is going to win this one kiev or 
the Ottoman Empire. Will Kiev be able to stand on its own against the might of an empire? Already, one, two, uh, the Kiev is losing a unit here as well, but there seems to be two to three more routing. And he's just putting some light archer fire down here from, from some light Rus archers. But so far, you got to give it to Kiev. He's starting to edge this one on out against the Ottomans. As another charge comes in here with high octane and high velocity. Maybe Kiev has neutralized the Ottoman cavalry. There's some infantry now here as well. Got some light bowmen there. Just getting some shots on, on a moving Ottoman infantry unit. They might have even caught this one here as well. This heavy ver this um, heavy spear unit. Distract them from the front while well, everyone hits them from the rear. But so far, the Kiev cavalry has been an absolute nightmare in this battle for the Ottoman player. They've been a menace. And, yeah, looking, looking at it, that's it. The Ottomans have lost their cavalry completely. And now Kiev can throw all of its cavalry at the Ottoman general unit. Fighting beneath this tree here. Tree here. They might be able to get rid of the general. That will cause a huge morale debuff to the entire Ottoman force if he's successful. Kiev, you got to give it to them. They're putting on a brave fight here. And that's it. There goes the Ottoman general unit. And now he's in a superb situation. Cavalry neutralized. General's bodyguard nearly. And he's also managed to pick off as well a couple of infantry units here and there and he's just going to skirmish them out. He's got plenty of ammunition left and the Ottomans have just been picked apart in an open field cavalry fight. Kiev has adopted the tactics of Attila the Hun by the look of it and has real gone full Mongolian up in here. Wow, so Particularly without skirmishes now and cavalry, it's going to be very hard for the Ottoman player to get back into this position. I guess he's going to have to bunker down, maybe just fall back into a defensive position and a former shield wall. But it looks like the Kiev player is cool, calm, and collected. He's just going to be able to just weaken and soften up the last of these units, and then you have to charge on in. Because most of those Kiev units are actually hybrid as well. They are quite effective in melee combat. So more light bows in coming in to help. But it was pretty ambitious with Kiev not coming with any infantry. But there will be a charge in here against the Ottomans. Nope, they pulled out at the last minute. <laughs> they do manage to get the charge bonus slightly and topple a couple over. But it's not going to be enough, and they're probably going to have to retreat from that one. However, they are wavering. Oh, they've moved into some pikes there. But Kiev is now losing his cavalry. It's still currently 50-50. You never know. Kiev might... Uh, the Ottomans, you'd imagine, would still probably have the numbers on Kiev. Even though they're routing some units here and there. So it looks like the Ottomans are going to form up into a defensive formation. And make things a little bit harder. But they've even got like two-handed axemen there. Even though they're armored, they've just got no shielding capacity. So they will be heavily reduced on their health and hit points. As it's turning into a bit of a... A... <laughs> crazy kill zone there. All those units are being shot and hit through multiple archer vectors of attack there. And they're just caught in the open field. Okay. Although... Kiev has definitely won the first half of this battle. If the Ottomans can regain, I guess, some defensive solidity, they might be able. They might be quite hard to to break out of that block, even with the cavalry. I don't know how th this Kiev player is going to fare once his cavalry is out of ammunition. Things are going to come and be a little bit complicated. 
Okay, as the Ottomans have formed up now into a defensive position. I didn't see or notice if the general was gone, but they did put a bit of a, a punch into him. So they're just going to sit there and allow Kiev to use the last of their ammunition, you'd imagine, before cycle charging comes on in. So we've just got some melee infantry there on the hot dusky desert plain in front of a nice blue sky so it's getting picked apart there okay the Ottomans are forming into a defensive position by the look of it and Kiev is just trying to pick apart any unit it can right, there's been a charge here by Kiev the Ottoman men-at-arms are a little bit thinned out so he thinks the charge will be able to soften him up and destroy the unit completely. I can't wait to have a look at the casualty sustained and inflicted for this one. Okay, so these guys still have a bunch of ammunition still. They're just still skirmishing it out. They've got a little bit more ammunition each. Okay, they're now routing. Okay, so I've skipped a little bit ahead, as Kiev have yet to make a play. They've just basically sat here and expended the last of their ammunition. So, I would imagine a mass cavalry charge is bound to happen at some point, because there's not else, not much else you can do. The Ottomans have formed up a defensive position and are holding. They've gone with this weird looking hexagon defense, which might work, I don't know. But it looks like Kiev are forming a flying wedge formation and they're going to charge right in. What a fantastic charge there by Kiev. And they're about to make all their way through to the general. They might even hit the other line here as well. And it's about a 50-60% favor in Kiev's favor and the general could be gone. Here comes the secondary wave coming on in. Wow. That was an awesome cavalry charge. Not only did they break through one of the points, that they charged through the center and made it wait not through a one, a two, and a third unit there. Crazy glorious scenes here for Kiev as they pick apart and run down the last of the Ottoman defenders. The Ottomans have overextended themselves way too much in the Ukraine. And now they've felt the punishment of Kiev and the Kievan Rus. Wow, wait. So we've only got 30 or seconds remaining. And it looks like it's going to end in a Kiev victory as nearly every single Ottoman unit is now either wavering or in a full retreat. Wow, what a crazy offensive. Cavalry managed to beat the Ottoman Spears here today. I guess they needed a light army to push up in advance and throw back the Ottoman invaders. But that's it. It was a close victory to end things off against the Ottomans. So let's have a look at the stats. Got to give a huge shout out to as well, of course, the players in this online battle replay. Another good one. So, Kiev deployed 1,200 and lost 440. Crikey. The Ottomans deployed 2,700. Yeah, outnumbered them 2 to 1. It was nearly 3 to 1 if it was just a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, let's have a look. So, it was really the Kiev cavalry that carried them. The general unit got 200 kills, which is awesome to see. Then, the hybrid units... They also brought a bunch of archers as well. Cavalry. So, the cavalry spam worked on out. While, yeah, unfortunately, the Ottomans didn't bring hardly any. And they got smashed on throughout because of it. That was a good fight. It's been a while since I've seen a cavalry-focused army build. 
But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for more battle replays across all Total Wars on the channel. I've got to play the outro now. Thanks, guys. Unfortunately, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Check out my social media links in the description below if you want to stay connected with me. I also want to say thank you to this month's patrons and channel members. Victor K, Sebastian C, Jordan K, Caesar L, Brian S, Tal, Lion B, Kyle P, Tom C, and White P. My name has been Simsy. Much love from Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>